All right, quick tour of my Marine Caterpillar D 343 AT. I get the flashlight so you can kind of see everything. It gets a little dark in here. I'll start off with the stuff that I know is different, which is obviously the raw water cooling instead of radiator. Boats have raw water coolings, so whatever it's floating in. Sucks in water from here, comes through a strainer, through a wall, raw water pump on the back, comes up over into the pressurized air off the turbo after cooled part then uh, the cool outside water comes back into a heat exchanger back out overboard that's a raw water circuit uh, the rest of it here is standard 32 volt starter I assume this here is my freshwater pump pumps it around the boat this goes to uh, it's a, just an off shoot that takes hot water from the engine, heats the hot water tank on the boat. So you have hot water, take showers, all that stuff. That goes down, the rest of the fresh water goes that way. This box over here, I could use your help. I'm not sure what these two boxes are. So obviously there's a little box here with several wires on it. And it comes down to this one below it. It says Caterpillar something, 7W something. But there's a 75% button, a reset button, looks like an off speed, uh, a couple buttons and then some screws, and then several wire connections in the back. So again, not sure what this box does, how to operate it or what I should do. Uh, again, two solenoids, not sure what they do. And those in the back are my 12 volt shunts for uh, amp meters for the 12 volt alternator, which is here. Kind of see the oil tank or oil pan. They like said 20 gallons. Well, I don't know if that's much bigger than what you're normal seeing, but that's where it fits in on this boat. Come around the front, it's a little tight. You've got, uh, like I said, 12 volt alternator, hydraulic prompt, 32 volt alternator, the heat exchanger itself, the water tank, and it's got a level gauge, you know, water level gauge. The gauge itself doesn't work, but the indicator does because I got a buzz the other day when I was low. Started making an alarm. And come around to this side. All right, so I assume the thermostats are in here. I assume this is my uh, water temp gauge. Here is the return from the hot water heater on the boat. Now it does have another external box here so I can start and stop from in the engine room then it has these two little uh, circuit breakers on here 10 amp and 20 amp not sure what they do inside of the box is just pretty standard I'm gonna open it up real quick uh, it's got the wiring diagram uh, here on the door those two circuit breakers not sure what they do and then just connectors for the gauges and uh, shunt for the 32 volt alternator Amp gauge. Now, let's see here. And obviously, the exhaust manifold feeding the turbo. We got the injection pump, several oil pressure senders and pressure switches. Feeds the alternators so the alternators don't get uh, power until the oil pressure comes up. And let's see what else we got. We got transmission cooler. I assume this is an oil cooler. I'm not sure if that's marine only or, or if the yours are that way too. Obviously oil filters, the rest of the injection pump, oil fuel pressure sender, fuel pump, hand fuel pump, two of the fuel filters. Now you said this was the tack takeoff. I'll show you in the back what I thought was the tack was. And maybe let me know what that is. That was the indicator gauge you're showing me or telling me about. It's not working. Uh, then there's a breather here. Uh, I'm not sure what I need to do maintenance wise. I mean, I took it out. And there's a little screen in there. Is there something I need to do or clean or take care of? Uh, then my other big question is on the top where the um, glow plugs are. I can't find any wires for the glow plugs and I can't find any switch anywhere on the boat, either helm, to activate the glow plugs. Now, I did have to start it one winter, and uh, it wouldn't start. Didn't have the glow plug, so I shot a little bit of ether into the, the air cleaner, and it fired right up, and it ran fine. So I don't know if that's good or bad or intended or how it's supposed to work, but 
if you could let me know where the wires are or where they come out of the head and I can see if I have them. All right, uh, what other question I have? So coming around to the back, it's got a little hand pump so you can pump the oil out, uh, either transmission or the uh, oil from the engine itself. Come back around, back of the engine. All right, so here is the uh, raw water pump we were talking about. And right back here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little switch and a wire. Uh, it's in the way right there. There you go, a little switch and a wire. I assume that was a magnetic pickup for the tack. Could be wrong. I don't know. If it's not for the tack, I wonder what that is for. Uh, transmission, flywheel. There's a coupler in here for uh, the marine transmission. Now, I assume that obviously this raw water pump is not standard, so that I assume is some sort of PTO takeoff to feed this. What about this side? Is that a PTO takeoff for this engine? And if so, can I find a hydraulic pump? I'd like an extra hydraulic pump to run a hydraulic generator once it's running. So if that's a PTO takeoff, if you could help me find a pump and how it works and what kind of pressures I can get, I'd appreciate the help with that. Uh, let's see here, obviously turbo, exhaust, air cleaner, all standard stuff. Uh, really appreciate the help, thanks much.